Hey friends, happy Tuesday and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. I have a pretty large haul to share with you today from Aldi. Picked up some more stuff for Thanksgiving dinner, um, which caused me to like go over the budget. I spent um, over $200 today um, and you'll see why. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the meal plan and then we'll get into the haul. Okay, here is the meal plan for the week. So we've got steak and potato soup with bread, meatloaf, mashed potatoes and green beans, ham and potato soup, Korean sticky chicken and rice with broccoli, pork schnitzel with egg noodles and gravy, pizza and salad, and orange chicken and fried rice. Okay, as I said, it's a pretty big haul today. It covers all the counter and I even have some stuff over on the freezer. So starting over here, we didn't need a ton of produce, but we got some green onion, some cucumbers, some broccoli, Lily's favorite tomatoes, the fall medley tomatoes, always have a lot of the green ones, which are her favorite, so happy to find those. We got some bananas, some mini sweet peppers, a bag of this Italian salad, we'll have that with pizza, a big bag of russet potatoes, and some gala apples. Then I got a gallon of 2% milk for Andy and the kids, a thing of Fair Life 2% milk for myself, and then some oat milk because I've been having this with my coffee. And then two things of orange juice and a thing of strawberry lemonade. Some of the Castlewood Reserve smoked uncured ham. This package is smaller than it used to be, but it says it still is a pound. So we got that. Um, uh, I would like always thought that like the package was too big for the amount of ham that was in it before. So they're like making it smaller so less like plastic waste I guess and then we got some Havarti and sharp cheddar then some shredded sharp cheddar and two bags of the shredded mozzarella for pizza I got four bags of broccoli um, I just want to have some on hand if I want to throw it in a meal but then also I need I think two bags for the broccoli casserole that I make for Thanksgiving so I went ahead and got that we got two dozen eggs these cinnamon waffles were new. I don't think we tried these ones last year. They had cinnamon and pumpkin. I think last year we only tried the pumpkin. So I got the cinnamon ones for the kids. Then I got them each a chocolate advent calendar. These are only $1.50 and there's a piece of chocolate in, in, in there for them every day. It's the Aldi brand milk chocolate and I know that they like that chocolate. So this is just easier than me filling our advent calendar this year. So I got those for them. And then I got this pumpkin quick bread and muffin mix. It was on clearance, um, I guess because it's not like it's a fall item and they're clearancing it out. So it was like a dollar something for that. And then the Quaker instant oatmeal and the pumpkin spice was also on clearance for like a dollar seventy. So got that because I really like it. Got some chili powder, Parmesan cheese, our favorite marinara sauce some of the restaurant style Italian dressing. This six cracker assortment was supposed to be for Thanksgiving, but I think Andy wants it now. So um, I'm probably gonna have to pick up another one of these for Thanksgiving. Um, my whole family loves these crackers. They've got the sesame wheat, the seeded multigrain, the cracked wheat, rosemary, poppy and pepper water, and the seven grain. So we love that especially for like parties and Thanksgiving. And then I got the original wheat, which was supposed to be for now, for the goat cheese that I bought last week that I've been snacking on, and the little cheese balls that the kids have been snacking on. Uh, we like these crackers for that. And then these were new, turkey stuffing crackers. They look like chicken and a biscuit crackers, but they're supposed to be turkey stuffing flavored. I couldn't not get these, have to try those and let you guys know what we think of those. Got some strawberry pop tarts because we were out. Italian seasoned croutons. The blueberry cereal was on clearance for just over a dollar, so I got that for the kids. Maple leaf cookies. These are a better price than the ones at Trader Joe's. Um, the kids asked for them at Trader Joe's, but I was like, uh, I saw them at Aldi and I'm pretty sure they're cheaper, so I'm gonna get them there. So I got those for them today. Got two bags of egg noodles. One will be used for dinner this week, and then I just picked up the other one to have on hand 
in case Aldi doesn't have egg noodles one week and I want a meal with them because these are one of those items one week they'll have it, the next week they won't, and it's really frustrating. So just like to keep an extra bag of that on hand. We got some bacon bits, and Lily asked for pecans. That's another thing that she wanted at Trader Joe's, but I was like, all these prices better on pecans, I know. This bag was like $3.50, so I got those for them to snack on and stuff. And then we got some napkins and plates for Thanksgiving cute little pumpkin napkins and pumpkin plates. I'm gonna get some bigger like oval dinner plates for the actual dinner but I figured we could use these for dessert and for like appetizers and stuff. So got that. Then just our regular thing of paper plates. They only have the hundred count now um, which means I only have to buy paper plates every like two to three weeks instead where I was buying them like every week. So this will last us longer but yeah, got some ibuprofen because we're nearly out. Some 100% whole wheat bread. They didn't have our honey wheat that we usually get, so I just got this. And then some brown and serve rolls to use to have with our potato soup. I like to do bread with that. And then this crusty Italian bread will be with the steak and potato soup that we're actually having tonight. So got that. And then this is a big reason I went over budget. Pure peanut oil. We like to fry our turkey. My brother does it in my backyard. And usually I buy the big three gallon thing of peanut oil at Walmart or even Kroger. And it's like $50 for three gallons. They had these. They were one gallon. They were $14.99. So I bought three of them. One's here. The other two are on the floor. So that's like $45 of what I spent today. Um, and that's just a necessity for Thanksgiving. And then moving over here, we got some meat. This 100% grass-fed organic ground beef, 93% lean, was a good price. It was $19.96, and, and each of these is 1.33 pounds. So just over a pound, like a pound and a third. Um, and I thought that was a really good price. So I got those to throw in the freezer for dinners for like out of ground beef. And then they also had these ground beef patties, 80, 20, um, marked down 50% off, because the date on them is today. So it was half off of 741 for each of those, which these don't have to be used for burgers. I'm probably just gonna flatten them out and freeze them in the package. Um, they're each 1.65 pounds, so over a pound and a half of meat and yeah don't have to use them for burgers probably won't probably will just use them like that um or like flatten them out and use them for chili and whatnot so yeah that was a really good deal a really good sale that i found today okay and that is it for my aldi haul this week i feel like i got a lot of stuff and like i said that oil was a good chunk of what i spent today my total exactly will be here on the screen it was like 201 and some change which i don't think is terrible considering i got meat and more stuff for thanksgiving but that is going to be it for today's grocery haul i hope that y'all enjoyed it let me know down below how much do you still have to get for thanksgiving i am closing in on like having everything except for like perishable items butter and eggs and like those things i pretty much i think got everything i need to double check my list but oh and i need a ham because we do ham and turkey um but pretty much everything that i need i think is mostly perishable items but let me know where you are in your thanksgiving shopping i hope you all have a great week and i will see you all in the next one bye